begun as one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2007. 2007, by internet, the people in charge of the wonders of the world may notice that almost all the ancient wonders of the world now are vanished. And they said, we need new wonders in the world. And they sent by internet a contest researching for a new seven wonders of the world. And they asked the people propose and voting for those new seven wonders of the world. Somebody proposed the pyramid of Chichen Itza. And a lot of Mexicans, we vote for it. <laughs> and, uh, and finally, finally, now it's one of the new seven wonders of the world. Fortunately and unfortunately, why Jorge says unfortunately? Fortunately, thanks to that, as the lady asked us, now we receive more visitors in this place. And it means more money, more resource for our state and also for the same city, you know? Unfortunately, to restore the buildings, archaeologists, they need a lot of money resource. Thanks to that people, thanks to you that visit this place, now archaeologists, they have the chance to continue working in the city and getting more information that those guys, they share with us. And of course, we share with you, you know? Unfortunately, because just that pyramid is one of the new seven wonders. For me, the whole city should be one of the new seven wonders of the world, you know? But they asked for one building, and we are very proud that now we live in a state with one of the new seven wonders of the world. So, that pyramid is the pyramid that Miguel mentioned in the bus, that I guess some of you couldn't hear very well, and we ask you, apologize about it, you know, for the bad shape of the microphone, but we can remember what he mentioned. That pyramid is the main pyramid that we have in Chichen Itza. Before all the buildings that we can find here, my ancestors, they built another one. But in the year 500 till 900 after Christ, they decide to build another one. As I mentioned, they received a new uh, influence from the central part of Mexico, first of all, for the architecture. In the past, they built temples like that one, with a square bases, not too high, no pyramids, just buildings. But when the influence came from the central part of Mexico, they started to build this kind of temple, this kind of buildings. Pyramids with a step bodies. Why pyramids with a step bodies and look like a triangle? Central part of Mexico, it's a place where we can find earthquakes every single year, unfortunately. In the ancient civilization, they learned that if they build a temple straight, when they have the movement in the earth, the whole building shake and finally fall down. They learn that if they build the base and get as much land as they can, when the earth shaking can break some pieces in the base, but the temple in the top will be in the same position. And it happens, I don't know if you know, but in Mexico City, the worst earthquake that we had was in the 18, 18, 1986, I'm sorry, 1986. 85. 85, sorry, but it was 85, 86. I was confused about it. 86 was the, the later, the, the um, no, the, the gains. Yes. Oh, okay. One year yes. after, that is why I, I was confused. 85 was the worst. Several buildings fall down. A lot of people die, unfortunately. But when they went to the main archaeological site near to Mexico City, Teotihuacan, any of the buildings suffering any damage. But unfortunately, we are still building straight. You know, we didn't learn why those people, they did like that. When the archaeologists, they came 1850s and they found this city, they found the pyramid and they immediately tried to know more about the pyramid. This is one of the pictures 
from the end of 1800 year, beginning of the 1900 year. Those are the conditions, how they found this pyramid. Of course, this is not one of the first pictures, because in the first pictures, we can find trees over the bases of this pyramid. That the trees grow up because my ancestors, they abandoned the city. And nature grew up everywhere, including over the buildings. What must happen? Roots of those trees, they dismantled the stones. And that is why they found ruins. But those guys, when they came, they came for only one reason. They were searching treasures. They had, they had news from Egypt that all the people who went to Egypt, they were rich. They found inside to the pyramids gold. And they believed that all the pyramids were built in the center. And that is why when they came, they researched the entrances they couldn't find. As Miguel mentioned, they dug in the building and they found that inside there's the small one. Three years ago, archaeologists, they came back. They want to know more about the small building inside to the pyramid. And they cover the whole building with electrodes. Try to get an a best image from the pyramid inside. When they print that image, they were surprised. They found inside to the small one another a small pyramid. So it means that they built three different buildings in the same place. And the other thing is that that pyramid is built over and a huge cenote. You? Oh, you can. Here we can see the head of the jaguar, the back of the jaguar, tail of the jaguar. Here we have one of the legs. Here we have one arm, the other one arm that is holding something that he will eat. Here we have the eagle, wing of the eagle, head of the eagle, it is the peak, one hand of the eagle holding something that he will eat too. Human hearts. Sacrifice, extraction of heart. Different to the central part of Mexico with the Aztecs, that they were practice the sacrifices in the top of pyramids. Mayas, they didn't. Different to the Aztecs, that they had two group of warriors, eagles and jaguars. Mayas, they didn't. So, what does animals represent? Real animals, what I try to mean. That when my ancestors, they were practice extraction of heart, that they practice outside of the city, far away, because they didn't take the risk that a jaguar get into the city and kill somebody else. They practice the sacrifice out. They offer the sacrifice and they weigh which one of those animals appear. Why? Remember the tree of life? Two sections for gods. The jaguar with the black spots in the body represent the gods from the underworld. The eagle, as it flies, represent the gods from the heaven. So, if the jaguar came, grabbed the heart, ate, and ate the body, it's because the god from the underworld received the sacrifice. If the eagle came, grabbed the heart, and fly away, it's because the god from the heaven received the sacrifice.